and Spencer. It is Saturday. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I know I am. Go weekend. <laughs> Today we're not going to do the nun, and I'll say this again when people get here because I left the iPad at home. We use the iPad. So we're just going to do puzzles, which is fine anyway. Or maybe puzzles are fun. Yeah. And we'll do anything. We'll wing it. Yeah, we'll consider it one. You know, after we're done. <laughs> All right. One viewer. Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, we'll do more puzzles than usual, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe, you know, I won't look up the answer to make sure that it's like a an appropriate puzzle, let's say, for the stream. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I skip them. Oh, yeah. If they're like, uh, you know, way too easy or, I would or just way do too them. hard. That way you can do them too. Yeah, exactly. It'd be more fun. Yeah, I agree with that. Since we're doing a that's bunch how, of puzzles. That's how, when I started uh, showing the puzzles, that's how I did it. But then yeah. sometimes they were like too tough or too easy. I agree. I but like, if we're going to do a whole bunch, then there'll be enough for everybody. Yeah, exactly. To, to, yeah, yeah, and I even if some that. like are kind of dumb, it doesn't matter because we we're going to do a lot. So. Right. I one dumb one's okay. Yeah, because I need some dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here we are. Where are you guys? Yeah, where is everyone? Oh, There's there we Licky go. Pooky and Thaddeus. We got right, three people at like the exact same time. Right before I was gonna let loose a stream of uh, insulting obscenities, <laughs> <laughs> as you're known for. Right, not really. Hey, J. Teetham. Hey, No Cho. We're just hanging out. It's cold here. I do want a game, three or five minute, rated or unrated. We can also hit X Clam Challenge. Ball, I wish you call it rated or unrated with balls or without. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter to me. You know, yeah, you you challenge me, and as soon hey, as I see class it, hero, how's it going? We'll get it going. And kangaroos in here. Yay! Where have you been, yes. working class hero? What? You disappeared for a while. I don't believe I've seen you lately. Hey, kangaroo, <laughs> waiting on some challenges. Or Jay Cheatham promised a challenge, but did he deliver? There's GM Benjamin. Yeah, GM Benjamin Feingold. Go Ben. Dang, <laughs> you guys both got three emotes. I only got two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here. I think he finally did it. Oh no, this is ten minute. That's oh, this might be a random person though. Could be. This might not be a. Sh- a person on oh the yeah, so Jay Cheatham, what's your what's there you your go. name? Probably Jack. Cheatham. Oh, there you are, Jack. Yeah, the other guy I'm gonna ignore. Right. I don't do ten minute. Yeah. That's just real boring on the stream. Totally. People are ready to do something out. Oh, I saw the pictures. Yeah, she and showed them to Spencer. The yeah. And I thought I said, that's great, but maybe those got missed because you were also telling me you paid the guy. Anyway, it looks great. I'm so excited about the playset being gone. Oh, the Tarash variation, huh? Yeah, it seems like... I'm a fan of the Tarash, you know? I feel like if I played E4 and my opponent played the French, I might might go for the Tarash. Mm-hmm. But I don't always play E4. Yeah, it seems like... I don't ever play this correctly, but you can remind me again. Um, you sent a oh, you sent more. Oh, I have not seen those. I think we were scrambling to get the stream set up, so I didn't notice. Dogs were running and happy. That's nice. Oh, I bet. Oh, it's like a new yard. Hey, this is Spencer. Oh, you beat CL Smith. Well, that's nice. awesome. Good job, Kangaroo. He's pretty <laughs> tough. Yeah, I played him a couple of times on his stream. We were both really tough games. Oh, and there he is, crying. Mm-hmm. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exciting, though. For, you know, somebody. I don't think the noises are being played. Let me. Oh yeah. Yeah, You're I see. Right. Caught it. Oh, I'm glad you did. My foot's itching. There it is. Did a little pre-move too. That was great. <clears throat> I love to see a good pre-move. I'll even take a bad pre-move. That's okay. Yeah. Let's see. What we're going to do. Oh, the suspenser says they played in 
their first sub battle, sacked the exchange and won. So you are learning from my dad then, huh? Mm-hmm. Always do that. Hey, McJurkle. How's it going, McJurkle? All right, let me. Oh, and VZDJ. Mm-hmm. Hey, day. Hey, how's it yep. going? Uh... Two bishops of Atels. Mm-hmm. Yay, there's a noise. It was the suspenser. Yay. Thanks. Oh, it was actually kangaroo gifting to the suspenser. Oh. Thank Even you, better. kangaroo. Nice. Yeah, it's always nice to uh, to gift subs to people named Spencer. That's the way to do it. Not that I'm biased or anything. Mm-hmm. You've been you've been treating your white square bishop a lot better recently. I have. And it's really pleasant to see. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I told you guys I was going to change my, my ways. And I did. Yeah, yes, you did. Mhm. Mm I follow through with what I say I'm going to do. Incredible defense by Faruja today. Mm -hmm. I didn't even I I just assumed he lost. I didn't even see it at all. Anish. I was so busy today. So that must have been incredible oh. defense. Don't worry, I have to go back Watch it. Hey, it's A B sequence. Hey, A B sequence. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, either. complimenting your hair. Who did? A B sequence. I think might be talking about your hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> now let me see. Oh, okay, I need to do something here. As long as you play faster, you'll be all right. All right, okay. Yeah, I did. What I did take a bit of time with that. <clears throat> That's no lie. Your opponent also should be playing faster. This is my professional opinion. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll have and to. The do moves this. I don't care about, but <clears throat> the speed of them. All right. I'll try to do better in life. And then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of what I was thinking. And then I did but it. But you, you eventually got there. But, you know, hope springs eternal. I'll have to take your word on that. Mm. At least you're avoiding a hassle by castle. I wasn't sure if I wanted to castle on that side. But... So chess is all about decisions. Mm -hmm. And that was one. That was one. <laughs> <laughs> you know. One of many. Sometimes you have to make multiple decisions just in one move. Mm -hmm. That's tough. It's a tough life. It's very tough. <laughs> Especially in a blitz game, you know. But here comes the plan, huh? Doubling up on the bubble up. That's mm. the way to do it. Here I come. To save the day. Let's see. I need to move, though. Well, Don't... yeah, just remember I like to move it to move it. Uh... That'll help you. Can't hurt it. Yeah, my stomach's just rumbling. Let me get back Was that your stomach? That's my stomach. Wow. Oh. That's pretty rumbly. You know what? I didn't eat um, lunch, and then I drank soda. That yeah, soda wasn't... will do it. <laughs> soda will do probably, it. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's the carbonation, really. Uh, and also, it's acidic and, and caffeine, too, but the carbonation, really, mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. But it makes it taste so good. So that's just the price you pay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me come back around this way. Yeah. Mm. Now you're you'll never get mated because you got a knight on F eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. 
I, I was hoping he had some higher purpose in life than that. <laughs> Just to hang out back there. Kangaroo's got the right emote because it's a French defense too. <laughs> so it really works on many levels there. I don't know about that A B sequence, unless you mean way earlier. Maybe you typed that earlier and I didn't notice. Or even there was some delay. But maybe. Perhaps. Works on many levels, just like my elevator puns. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. <laughs> You hear it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, it's so loud. <laughs> That's the loudest I've ever heard anybody's tummy rumble. <laughs> Amy Sequence says he hears it too. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> make a move I now. know but I can't stop laughing it's tough <laughs> um I don't even want to go okay let me um uh, let me make, make up here. now you got it and uh, you're back in it let me switch <laughs> who cares um oh shit go on pre-move oh alright that's okay. This is a normal French structure. It really is. Hey, Squire, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it is so noisy. <laughs> Spence, you want to play me? Not particularly, Polo. Oh, Wait. <laughs> It's All not right. that I don't want to play you. Right, let me. It's just that, you know, I'm on Karen's stream. <laughs> Come on, you could still win this. Oh, I like black here. It's just, you know, terrible, the whole situation. You know, it's our laughing, you know, <laughs> dumb. I mean. But you could still get the W. Let me do this. Oh, wait. I'm going to win. <laughs> Dang. It's going to be tough to uh, win now. Yeah. Good game. <laughs> that was a good game, though. I feel like... I don't uh, know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you were doing well that game. To ed edit that out. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We have to leave that in, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be like, why are they laughing for like 15 <laughs> seconds straight? I don't understand. I think it stopped. <laughs> I'm going to drink some more soda. All right. All right, so, GG. GG. Yeah, I thought that you were better um, for basically the whole game, but it, it, the time got you. I hate time. So, Jay Cheatham, this is a typical mistake that, uh, you know, I don't really want to say lower rated players because kind of, you know, 60 under is not too low rated. But a lot of people make. Oh, here, look at this. Jay Cheatham, cheers. Oh, thank you, Jay Cheatham, for High the 500 cent edition. Thank you for the game. That was a good game. But this is not exactly the right square for the bishop. You don't want to trade it for the knights. Your bishop is so good. <laughs> thank you, Thaddeus, <laughs> for the 1,000 cent I hate really time, cool. Karen, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the bishop so is come a... at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Well, That's fair. I, yeah, I was proud I played well against you, Jay Cheatham, because you're um, obviously way better than me. So I was proud. But, you know, I always messed it up with my time. Um, yeah, anyways, don't trade your white square bishop is the moral of the story. And then you did. So now you're already worse. And her white square bishop was really good. The way to play this, uh, if you play a Tarash with knight gf3, usually you just sack your pawn. 
like this. And then uh, do they go like that? And then they just take it. Yeah, there are a lot of games here. This is known as the Korchnoi Gambit. See, I told you I'm, I'm loving that bishop in my games. Yeah, well, you're right. In this variation, for example, the bishop is un Bad. unloved. But in my game... Right? But you are up a pawn, and it's a protected pass center pawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all pretty good. So, also e5 is weak. So, yeah, that's the main line if you want to play this way, okay. JT. Then. I didn't know either. Yeah, now you're... I wasn't really sure about my moves. I mean, so far, great. It's fine, okay. Cause... A5 doesn't seem entirely necessary, but it doesn't look too bad. Well, I wanted to get my bishop over there. <clears throat> I don't know. Didn't want to block your A-pawn, I guess. Yeah, and also I, I thought the queen would move away, so it was just to protect it, the rook being there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. All right, so here I would, uh, I would probably, I mean, I'd either take or I'd castle. Like, I'm not too afraid to, to castle because he doesn't have this white square bishop. That's true, yeah. You know, that's that's a problem. Hey, Scottish Demon Goat snuck in. Hey, Scottish Demon Goat. I have been working out. Thank you for noticing, <laughs> GME short seller. Is that is that <clears> from, <throat> uh, is, this is a controversy, right, where uh, people were buying game stock, game stop stock, oh, yeah. and then driving up the price? I'm very unclear about all of that. I've seen seen people talking about it. I've glanced at the articles. I know games you know people Yeah. I don't know much about it. <laughs> I just That's get I don't funny. really want yeah, but people are getting all worked up about worked, it. Worked you know, political about it. I just need to take a break from it sometimes. But it's it is a thing. Bankrupt the billionaires. <laughs> yeah. And then they cry about it. Well start regulating. <laughs> I guess I guess I don't care as much because I don't have a lot of assets. And the more assets you have, then you probably start paying more attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, anyways, I wouldn't be too afraid to castle here because he's got no white square bishop. That's that's really a huge downside okay. of white's position. Um, but yeah, you should also take and play c5 as well. So you can do all that stuff. You can keep squeezing with your a pawn. I don't, I don't know if you wanted to do that. I mean, definitely you should play pawn to c5, right? <clears throat> oh, in retrospect. Because <laughs> yeah. now you traded away two bishops. Yeah. Now he's uh, probably still like black here. But, you know, he's he's getting closer to equality by getting rid of your bishop here. Mm. And this is a very weakening move. Oh, that was too weakening. Also, I'd probably play knight takes here. You know, because maybe you could do that. But I don't know if that's better. Just what I was thinking. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't sure which way to take. At some point, A, B, sequence wanted knight C6, but I don't think it ever was possible. Hmm. Yeah. Do I see your challenge? Uh, yes. Yes. Your third. Yeah, there, there's never knight c6, unless it was a tactic I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, I mean, probably uh, probably a good plan for you is to win this pawn. Because if he plays b3, you could still take it, because he's pinned. Because b1's not defended enough. So that's kind of a good idea. Or, you know, oh, for example, I see. like oh, this. I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, he could still defend it with the queen, but that's kind of embarrassing for the queen. You could play rook b3 even. Mm -hmm. But your bishop looks so good, I wouldn't expect you to want to move it. Right, also at some point I remember you could have taken the e-pawn. Yeah, it was here. Darn. Yeah, the e-pawn was hanging for actually a couple of moves, right? <clears throat> and I remember I was, that during the game. I was really just Once he moved his rook, it was hanging. Oh, uh darn because yeah. i was really wanting to get that pawn earlier <laughs> yeah i just didn't notice oh yeah scottish demon go points out that going to uh b3 is an idea as well 
to attack the Apon. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Agreed. But yeah, I could have taken the Epon. Or I probably shouldn't have allowed it, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Elkoing. I mean, basically, the only reason you lost cause, was because of time. Because even here, you're doing great. You got a pass paw, and your bishop's amazing. Your major pieces are better. I mean, everything's better for you. You're so active here. Surprisingly mm -hmm. active. I wouldn't have expected you to play so actively. This is a great move, too. I told you. I'm yeah. changing my ways. Hey, I, I remember in the Blitz the other day, Yeah. you you played this guy, and it looked like it looked like you had black, but you actually had white. And he was, but he was playing like how you played. You used to play with black, where he'd keep his his bishop stuck. You know, his white square bishop was stuck. Uh, it was like a French. Oh, okay. And then and then he was like really passive, and he couldn't like move. And then you were like crushing him. I think you lost on time though. But you were uh, winning the game. I can't remember who which guy. Yeah, you were was playing it? so aggressively. I don't know. It's the yeah. first time he was at the club. Actually, it was the uh, first time he was at the club. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I know which game you're talking about. Oh yeah, I think I lost on time. Yeah, that was a good oh, yeah, game. Oh yeah, you're playing really yeah, good. Yeah, that game was bad. Yeah, that made me mad. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Because <laughs> that guy's not weak either. Yeah. You know, but you're just out playing and yeah, crushing I'm try him. Yeah, I'm trying to be more yeah, aggressive. Yeah, you were too aggressive. You played like Queen G. It was like mm -hmm. a French. You played like Queen G4. And then mm -hmm. you got you start crushing him on the king side. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, now you're going to lose just because you don't have any time. But even here, you're probably winning because you could take the pawn and you pass pawn. And your rooks are good. So you, you could even be winning here. But it'll only be a pawn up, so maybe not. <clears throat> Have you seen Dubov crushed Magnus? I was so happy. <laughs> ABC Quest is always happy when Magnus mm -hmm. loses. I didn't see the tournament today at all. Right. I mean, Dubov's <clears throat> not playing in this tournament, so he must mean a different. Oh, I couldn't remember who's playing. A previous event. Oh, okay. But I do remember they played, and I don't remember the game. Which tournament? I don't remember. I haven't followed the current tournament going on at all. I mean, sometimes there's just so much, like, Blitz and Rapid, it's like, I can't pay attention to all of it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I have, yeah, I have to, a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, I do listen to it sometimes in the background, but, you know, not really paying close attention. I, I, previous tournaments, though, I did follow more than this one. Yeah, anyway, let me play some somebody else. There. Let me get it going. We'll keep chatting. I'm going to take another, the oh, yeah. very next challenger. The suspenser. The suspenser. Nice. And you know what I need to do and I keep forgetting to do? What is it? Is fix a layout for Ben. And I should do it as soon as we finish for tonight even um, so that he can show the queue. I think I can make it so he can show the queue. And that way, because that drives him crazy like when he's playing people. Yeah. And people want to know. <laughs> yeah. Well, every two seconds, him in the queue, and then if it's just showing, then they don't have to ask. That's know? true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I recommended you to play this way, too, against the English. <clears throat> I know, that's why I played it. That was nice. I used to play... Um, E5. Yeah. And C6. Mm -hmm. I did. I don't remember me on this, so I'm just going to... But that would take away all the great complaining in the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's true, kangaroo. Uh, that's true. See, to me, it's it's comedy, and I he say he says it jokingly, but I kind of think it's some truth in that. It is a little entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. The, uh, but... Um, How's it going, Jay Wolfen? You know... So I agree that there's some humor in it. it looks like uh, the suspenser has kind of a dragon form formation here, huh? Um, Going for the, a little bit of a dragon. Yeah, stuff. I guess so. This E4, a little early, don't you think? But the suspenser, he's a man of action. <laughs> like, I'm breaking right now. I like it. I admire that style. Oh, uh, all right. This one's what we'll do. I don't know openings, but white seems suspicious in opening. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, A, B, sequence. 
it was a suspicious opening. But I don't know. I mean, it, it didn't turn out too bad. Came, it came through with a tactic. Huh? He did. And I'm going to start with see what is my best option. <clears throat> this will go here. But I'll fight to the end. I yeah, I don't know. But it seemed like after E5, he had it the whole way. He just played a good uh, tactical sequence, mm -hmm. a good tactical A-B sequence. <laughs> All right, I got to get back in somehow. Let me see. Look at my poor pawns. <laughs> Pawn islands. Well, you know, we've all been there. Mm, rough. I gotta admire the suspenser's uh, gumption in this game. It earned him some, some dividends. Mm -hmm. But will he have the technique? <clears throat> will he have the technique? Yeah. How does that Scottish demon goat? How does that change the situation? I mean, he'll, he'll still take on b7, right? I mean, like how, is that, how is that different? What is the difference? I don't understand. Show me the difference. All right. We're, we're collecting. Poke the bear, huh? Yeah, that's that might be true, Scottish Demon Goat, because uh, obviously this was very was clear. So you might as well keep more material. But uh, Karen's, uh, you know, clawing her way back into the game. She already picked up that pawn. She's got ideas. There's an aggressive move. Look at how aggressive you're posted here. Yeah, knights are too tough in a blitz game, you know. It's almost like you'd rather have a knight than a rook. <laughs> almost. See, the suspense is going to have to dig deep to defend this position now. Chess is pretty tough. You know, you're in control one minute, and now you got to change gears. Not easy to do in a blitz game, especially.
Rook's finally getting in that action, huh? Chagorin would love to have black here. Like, look at these knights. <clears throat> these crazy knights. Be a photo finish now. I didn't think he'd see that. Love these pre moves. Easy win. Great stuff. That's how you pre move. <laughs> that is how you pre move. Easy win. <laughs> Pretty much a perfect game. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I could have gotten his rook there at the end, but it was. Yeah, I was trying it's to all about the speed, <laughs> the need for speed. I know, but it's painful. Though. So here, I'd probably take that, because if he takes back, then you could trade queens. You'd have to move his king, which looks pretty ugly, especially because he already played c4. Okay. Oh, this is okay. You're already even better here, probably. And he opened up the center pretty early. Right, this was tricky, him playing e5. Probably, uh... Yeah, I forgot about this. Probably knight c6 is the move. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he... Okay, but... You know, probably taking here and, and trading queens and such is, is worse than not doing that. You know, like if you play rook takes. This is what Scottish Demon Goat and I were talking about. I thought about it. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do. And he'd still do this, <clears throat> but you yeah. keep the you keep the pin and the queens yeah. on the board. Okay. Hard to believe that this already is like winning. But I guess, you know. Yeah. That was a pretty good spot. Pretty good spot. Mm hmm Even knight takes was correct too. Yeah. Oh, rook takes instead of bishop g4. Well. Hey, rook, Mo Caffeine. You mean rook takes e4? Because rook takes e5 wasn't possible. Bishop g4 is answered by e5. So rook takes e5 wasn't possible before instead of bishop g4. All right, so here you're down the exchange. Um, but you have pretty active pieces. And it's tough for him to get untangled. He just, like, he basically gave up the pawn to get his pieces out, which is, is okay. I probably he could have anticipated this a little bit better. You're a little bit high. No, instead of uh, this move, I think you should have gone uh, for that one, right? Yeah, I didn't see it. Darn. But, I mean, it's not <clears throat> that bad. Yeah. Okay, here's where you started to get some initiative. Great move. But here, all you gotta do is take this and you win the exchange. <clears throat> I was just worried that I didn't have enough material to, I just didn't want to give, I was just hoping to get something better. <laughs> I didn't want to. But it wins material for it, you. But it didn't seem like a lot, like I didn't want to lose the knights. I didn't want to lose the knights for the bishop. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, but you got and a was... rook and a bishop. For two knights, you got a rook and a bishop. Oh, right, well, let me see then, maybe I'm That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I, I take, um, but how do I get a rook in it? You take it, and then he plays rook takes, okay, and you take with take, the other knight. And then so they get my two knights. 
Oh, okay, and yeah. you take a work and a fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, okay, well, I didn't calculate it right. Yeah, because that, then you're just up a pawn and you're better or winning, maybe. You're probably <clears> yeah. just better. But... I just didn't calculate it right. I was trying to move, move. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now you're lost. And he actually had, like, pretty good technique. Yeah. I mean, probably you should go there, but... I didn't play in the arena. I was, um... I went out last night to karaoke. So. Oh, so this is a good move, so you don't lose your pawns. Mm. When he saw his work was hanging, that's pretty impressive stuff. But yeah, then you just were one on time. Mm. <laughs> good game. Yeah. All right. Well, we can keep playing. I think just. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I used to go a little bit longer. The goat up there. Yeah. Plus, it's only a three-minute game with the goat. That's true. I mean, and then maybe we'll do this after the puzzle, maybe. All right. We'll see. We'll just see. <laughs> the queue is only like two people long. All right. Let me do it. Yes. <laughs> That's how you do it. I don't know how to play it, but I'll just. Uh, Go ahead. Get it going. You think he knows how to play it? <laughs> Probably not. He's out of theory already. Let me see. Yeah, this dude. I don't want to do that. Uh... Look at this guy. He doesn't even move any pieces. He only moves pawns. Does he even know how the other pieces move? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, congrats on reaching 1900 on Lee Chess AB sequence. Go Karen and Feingold Jr. Feingold Jr. Oh, wait, that tracks. Do that. <clears throat> Pretty positional stuff. Go into the queue. I get it. Too bad Scottish Demon Goat stopped himself from playing B6, huh? By playing B5. Otherwise, he'd win for sure. Now it's anyone's game. Comes some counterplay. This is straight out of Nun's book. Yeah, Kravnik does play pretty positionally. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. Looks like you trapped the goat. <laughs> Put out your little goat trap. You dirty goat. Got him. <laughs> Stinking goat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I still feel like he's going to win on time. Okay, yeah, you're right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, AB sequence really liked your sequence there. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. 
he knows. He knows a good uh, a good sequence, <clears throat> as his name might indicate. Let's see what to do. I need to get in there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's tough. It's all blocked. I up. mean, I hate this sort of position. Okay, I'm good under. I hate this queen up position. <laughs> no, I mean I can't get my stuff out. I only have twenty seconds. The 20 so, seconds is really hurting you. You know, I, have to admit. I mean, come on. Otherwise, I'd be real happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go ahead. Who needs them? Go on your rampage. Yeah, who needs that <laughs> Come on. You still could get it done, though. Oh, there it is. Oh. The trapper becomes the trappy. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Dang. It was a good try, though. I know. All right, I'm going to resign. That was a good game. God. You tried your best. Well, I just... He's so fast. I never have enough time to, to He's execute. He's a slippery goat. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even you know? even up a queen, I can't... I never have enough time to, to win my games. Yeah, it's tough. All right. All right. GG. Hey, homomorphic. <laughs> so in this pawn structure, it's nice for him to play b5. Mm -hmm. So you could stop him from doing that. Oh, yeah, I never even played um, this way on the stream. I mm -hmm. have done it before in the past. So. Yeah, it's like a closed Benoni, like how my dad plays. Okay. Uh, but you, one benefit is you didn't play c4. That's actually good for you because you can put your knight on c4. Okay. Did I play this because I haven't didn't really know what to play with? Well, so far you're doing fine. Oh, okay. But, yeah, a4 would be, I, I would yeah, improve okay. there. But I thought your play was just fine, you know. When I mean, you got all your pieces and you castled, it was good. You know. And I mean, I like black here, but he's just got a lot of queenside space. Mm -hmm. I would try to play c4, but he wanted to do like this. Yeah, this all made sense. You thought you'd win on time? <laughs> yeah, then you that was tricky. That's a tricky move. Yeah, I mean you could defend uh the normal way. So he should have he should have smelled a rat, you know. If you have a way a normal way to defend, why would you not defend it? Right, so he should have he should have thought of that. What in theory, you know? Why? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like if this if, if you couldn't defend it, then King C two is like okay, I'm bailing out. Mm -hmm. But you could defend it, so he should have figured. It was a little weird. You played Bishop takes because then you moved your Bishop and played Rook A one. I know. I was it was a instead of just like Rook incorrect, takes. Incorrect. Yeah. I don't know why. Now, if you want to break through, you're gonna have to use your F pawn. You're gonna have to move your knight and play F. Three okay. or and or f four, and break in. That's your only pawn break. And I forgot about that pawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was behind. I just forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to hang the queen. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Then he actually set a trap for you, but maybe he just uh, missed it. I don't know. Probably he set a trap. Yeah. <laughs> So, good game. But, yeah, obviously the speed got you. It goes hey. pretty fast. <clears throat> hey, Pajayas. Never play F3. <laughs> yes, that's right, Pajayas. No, GG, Demon Goat. Well, I'm thinking we should do a few puzzles. Yeah, yeah, let's get some and puzzles And then when we, come, when we end the stream, I can play a couple more people. And sometimes the challenges time out. Um, so, I'm just going to say right now, VZDJ88 is next. Then Mirko, then Mr. Rufus Doofus, then Chess Flair. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to remember your position. Remind me, I'm happy to, to honor that same order um, if you're still here at that part of the stream. No, we're not doing the nun today because I left the iPad at home and we use the iPad. We could have used the computer, it's just a little bit harder to navigate. 
Yeah. Yeah, sorry, no nun. <laughs> You'll be fine. How much nun are we going to look at today? <laughs> none. <laughs> but we'll get none back tomorrow. Codeine makes you itch. Is that why you're high? You said you were high, and I hope you're taking that for medicinal purposes and not for high purposes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to say, but I, it does make me itch as well. <laughs> That's true, Jay Wolfen. Making sure it's set up correctly, but it looks right to me. This is black to play. You need more lessons? Oh, you have back pain. Oh, I think you said that before. Yeah, I have some back pain, so I can relate to that. Mm. Okay, so black to play. Black does have a lot of options here, huh? Mm. Hmm. Tough. Got a couple checks. Got a couple of checks. I wonder if we saw this one before. Yeah. I could be wrong. I was thinking Rook takes H2 check. That's what I was thinking. And then a King takes him Bishop E5 check maybe. Yeah. And then, then I guess the only move is... Well, you could play King G1 or King G2. Oh, yeah. But they don't seem too much different. Yeah. I guess King G1 is better. Yeah, King G one's better. Cause then if you play Queen G three check, I can block with the bishop. Or if you play uh, Queen takes H three, it's not check. Mm -hmm. If my king's on G one, so I can start checking with my rook and such. Yeah, let me refresh this. I've got I a wonder. Little error. I wonder if we saw this. Maybe not. It just reminded. I didn't. It, I didn't uh, you would remember it though. I feel you like I would. I yeah. yeah, I think you'd remember that. Okay. Well, maybe it was just a similar idea. Uh, yeah, I don't think H, Rook H2 is actually working. Yeah, yes. So, so you were talking about King G1 and then Bishop. Okay, G2. Or if Queen G3, Bishop G2. Right, okay, yeah, to block. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah, maybe so then. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This one's pretty tough. I gotta say. Well, if you did that kind of a block, though, couldn't you then? Like, if you. Oh, no, because the queen's on. Uh, what if you went queen. g5? No, that wouldn't work. I don't know. A queen e4 check, I mean, I, I I like queen e4 check too, but after king g1, what's the follow-up, right? What is the follow-up there? I couldn't really find it. I mean, I don't even, I don't see a good check. And also we gave up control of d8. Like in this position, black controls d8. So rook d8 check's not a move. Only if the queen moves to e4 or h3 is rook d8 check counterplay. So we could play an improving move like bishop e5, which Scottish Demon Goat gave a, a ridiculous variation that made no sense afterwards. Um, but bishop e5 looks like a playable move because it threatens mate in two. Rook takes h2 check, king g1, queen f2 mate. 
And if, if you can't, bishop e5 can't be met by bishop g2 because queen h2 is made. Hmm. Now, it is true that after bishop e5, rook d8 check could be played just to deflect the queen because white is a rook up. So if we sacrifice a rook, then, then you know, we're, we're no longer... We're no longer up material, but it might not be winning for black. However, we retain the threat of rook h2. I'm all in with bishop e5, says Bonarici. <clears throat> rook c1? What the heck? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Yeah, so I don't know. I, th I like bishop e5. Let's just try to it. Yeah, I was looking at that too. The variation I was looking at was uh, bishop e5, rook d8, check, queen takes d8, then I could play bishop g2. Cause, and I deflected your queen so you can't mate me in one. I still feel like black should win there even though material is equal. Probably could just go back to h4 even. Yeah, how can I defend after bishop h4? h3, queen g3. Force is mate. Uh, or maybe some timely king g1, I don't know. But, yeah, it seems like that's probably the, the answer. Bonarici agreed. Scottish demon goat still is <laughs> variation makes no sense at all. But uh, that's sort of signaling to me that he does like bishop e5, you know. Well, we want to look at it? Yeah, it definitely. All right, let's see if, if yeah. we were right here. 588. I'm cold. Bishop e5 exclam. Yeah, and in fact, he did play rook d8 check. Queen d8. And black won easily. Yeah, I figure this should just be winning because we equalized material and we got a ton of threats. Mm -hmm. This stuff threatens a lot. Even like the rook. I mean, every, and then I could come back. Like, I got a lot of threats here. He also mentions if queen h3 instead of bishop e5. Check. Queen d1 allows white to fight on. Yeah, because if... Well, anyways, I got checks and I got like queen g1. No, but rook f2, queen g1, queen f3 would win. So I don't really have queen g1. But like if rook f2, I got checks. Yeah, I got checks. Mm -hmm. All right, we did it. On to the next one? Yeah, definitely. Queen takes d8 seemed easy, too easy for a puzzle. Oh, so you're on purpose avoiding that? <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. That's understandable. Well, I think he thought that couldn't be the answer because it was too easy, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, I can poke her or something. I could possibly be doing that. Oh, look at you. you. Now you know so much about poker, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Get two bishops about that. Else. Everybody two bishops. Come on. <laughs> Horsing around here. Yeah, what are people saying? Let's see. <laughs> Your favorite poker book right now is Ed Miller's Poker 1%. Well, um, actor Laramie, I think, sent me a poker book. So I can't, is, so I'm excited. I forgot the name of it. But um, probably will learn most just by playing. But it is good to read a book. All right, white to play. We got got a lot of heat on that king, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Got a lot of a lot of action. Tough though. Kind of tough. I'm having a hard time even coming up with a candidate move, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, I was. Oh, no, that one didn't work. Okay, but I, I understand the idea now, actually. Yeah, almost, C.L. Smith. Almost. That's almost true. Yeah, homomorphic. Has got it. Yes, that's exactly what I thought. Well, if not, then I mean, you still do your same variation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. Uh -oh. Yeah, I what happened there? I don't know. Let me see. It might have rebooted. Dang. But you can see the chat right there. Yeah. It's a little bit smaller. Tiny should, chat. Should come back. Yeah, it looks like it's... Um, oh, doing like an update or uh, something? Yeah. Well, that's fine. We can get another window, too, if you want. I, I can't really look at the chat still because I'm trying All right. to read it. I can read it. Yeah. So what you were you thinking it. about this uh, puzzle? Then? Um. Well... It didn't really go anywhere. I was first looking at bishop takes f6. Yeah. But then um, so I'm looking at other things now. Right. Such as? Um, this is what I was thinking, right? It's tough to find another move. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So why doesn't bishop takes f6 work? Black's next move will be probably queen takes. Right, right. And I didn't initially see the queen because mm -hmm. I don't see sideway moves <laughs> very well. Well, but okay. So bishop but, takes would fail to queen takes. So that's why we make a preparatory move, sort of, to stop them from playing queen takes with a tempo, because it's got to be a forcing move. Um. Let's see, well. I mean, the only moves I see give away material. Such as? Okay, bishop d5, which they could take the knight anyway. Or knight d4. None of these moves make the queen move. That's true. Or interfere with the queen's okay, defense. Well, okay, rook e6. Yeah, now you're talking. Well, that, rook okay. e6. That's not a move I would do. <laughs> <laughs> but you could see why it's the right move. Yeah. Yeah, rook e6 is, is almost certainly the correct move. Okay, why is this? Oh, it's still rebooting. Right, okay. right. Classic. If it's like with a, Windows updates. I'll get a bigger except one. Except it's a Mac. Different. So it's Let even worse. Let me see the um, mouse for a second. Okay. And then there I'll just go. get another one up. I don't think I have one up. Yeah, yeah, you do, you do have one up there, though. I remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll just leave this in the front. Well, I wonder if we, if we lost this stream. That's not us anyway. That's Chess Bro. Oh, yeah, you're right. That was an old window. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay, because we're seeing new chat. Hang on a second, guys. We lost uh, one of our windows. Okay, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Let's see if we were right about the answer. Yeah. I'm almost 100% sure we yeah. were right Yeah. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, but... Let's um... see. Better safe than sorry. We're almost at the end of the section. You know, I was looking from the uh, the old Soviet championships. Mm -hmm. Rookie six, double X-clam. White uses an interference theme. Yeah, that's right. This is definitely interference. He played queen takes. Both ways of capturing would be met by bishop f6 with mate. Because right, yeah. I got two things attacking g7. You can't take them both. Yeah. Even though they'll both be hanging. <laughs> they'll both be hanging. Mm -hmm. So he played queen takes. And then he went here. This is the game Zurakov Tolush. Then he took this. And then he played that. And white won. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay, the, I guess queen takes is the best defense, but we would just assume it loses. And then he gave it you know, his best shot, right? Mm -hmm. He gave it his best shot. But now the smoke is cleared, and it's a queen and a bishop for two rooks. So, you know, it's basically a piece up. Mm -hmm. And White still has some work to do to win it, but I'm sure he won it. He, I mean, it says White won. Hemomorphic says, what if instead of bishop c8, he plays d4? Here? He wants to, like, mate. I oh, guess. then he says, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it's possible, but he, the, what he does just wins a piece, so you wouldn't really complain. About it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's look at the next one. No. Oh, yeah, I like these. Yeah, these have been pretty. I good. mean, I'm get. Yeah, I can see the initial ideas. I just can't really. No, that was a tough one. That was tough. I was sitting there not even knowing what was going to happen. I liked that one though. Um. Hopefully, the computer will finish rebooting over here. Oh, right when I said it, it did. That's let's very see. polite of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Although it kind of seems like it was eavesdropping. Oh, it tried to restore the windows. Yeah, quit restoring that. Just let me open them up again. I've never clicked restore windows. No, well, this is on a Mac. No, I mean, I mean restore, like, the browser windows, I mean. Mm. I'm always just like, let me open them again. Okay, this looks correct. It's black to play. All right, let me see. Okay, good. This is bad. All right. Wind is flying. <laughs> Screen's flying. <laughs> yeah. But we did it. We're back. Hey, Grantee Burt. We lost one of our windows for a minute, so we couldn't see the chat very well. All right, so black to play. Yeah, black to Let's play. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, my dad had a tactic just like this in one of his own games. Isn't this, isn't this just the... Oh, wait, but let me not... Yeah, isn't this just like rook c1 check? And then what would white play? Mm. Well, I was going to say, uh, I guess, okay, rook takes. And then what? I guess it'd have to be like king takes. <laughs> yeah, king Oh, yeah, takes. so that wouldn't work. Um, but wait, if king took, then you could go, oh, no, it's in there, it's their turn. Okay, let me just look at it for a second. I've got that weird pain in my side now. <laughs> oh, no. It's probably from chess puzzles. <laughs> oh, no. No, because I usually get it at night. Like... 
Okay. So tough. All you gotta do is look at your forcing moves. So you looked at one of them with rook okay. c1. What's right. another forcing move? Alright, so queen takes d3. And after it's rook forcing. takes. Um, the end. No. <laughs> no more forcing moves. Alright, so it's not Let's queen takes. Is... Yeah, what, what other forcing um, moves? You exhausted all of the checks and captures. Mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> Sometimes a check sneaks up on you, you know, but it looks like you've exhausted all the checks and captures. So you're going to have to find the threats. So make some threats. Okay, what about queen f2? Oh, well, you hung mate. Oh, uh, yeah. But anyways, threatening a pawn, come on. I wasn't really, um... I was just gonna try to get the rook in and then c2, but. Well, that would you know be a plan, but I want a direct threat. Okay. Yeah, black to play. Oh, thank you, Grant Tebert. I'm glad you could make it this time. Mm. I see. Well, here's an important factor in this position. The okay. queen is pinned. Right? So when you have a pinned piece, you want to attack that piece, right? That's what my dad always says. I forgot it was. I didn't even notice it was pinned. I, I didn't even think. <laughs> yeah, that's important. I know. I know it's obvious. I didn't think about it. Okay. Well, then I guess uh, rook c three. Oh well, no, because the pawn will take it. Yeah. Rook. Oh, you can just go rook d eight. Yeah, rook d eight. Oh, well, I didn't um, think about it being pinned. Right. You can't take the rook because it's pinned. I could think of, yeah. And if you take the queen, rook takes rook mate. Okay. So that just wins. And this happened with my dad. The guy when? played, it was almost, it's like the exact same idea. Mm. He played like a rook here. The guy was trying to trade, maybe it was like, it was a little different. Like the queen and king were maybe on the dark square. It's like sort of forgot. But it's the same idea where he was trying to trade queens, but then my dad played this and the guy just resigned. It was this exact same uh, tactical yeah. idea. Yeah. I do remember him showing that on the stream, actually. Yeah? Yeah, in the last... Um, yeah, I've, I've seen it from him multiple Three or four times. months, yeah. yeah. He Definitely. I was, he showed that to me. I just can't remember which tournament it was. He, he just says Rook D8, zero, 01. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know is Rook D8. Yeah, yeah, I do remember Ben showing that game. Oh, you missed it too, homomorphic? I don't know. I'm just not very good at puzzles. Oh, you fell too, Jay Wolfent? Well, maybe we'll get the next one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I failed too. You know, don't know what to say. These last few puzzles have all been about <laughs> just one move, like the rookie six one. We basically only need to see one move, but it's a tough move to find. Especially because everybody's thinking about rook c1 check in that position. That was the first thing I looked at when I was analyzing it. Yeah, oh yeah. It was rook c1 check. I know, I just don't know why I can't see pins. I had gotten slightly better at seeing them in my own games, but it's just hard for me to see. I why. Oh, you saw the queen was pinned. <laughs> okay, this one is also black to play. Yeah, we could do 100 best in games. Definitely, that could be a book we could do. I want to finish the nun, but maybe we could even alternate. I'm sorry, you said black to play again? Yeah. Okay, so let me look and not look at you guys. Okay. Okay. 
So now that I've missed that other pan, <laughs> I see that and there's this pan here. See, I'm trying to take advantage of that at the moment. Let me see. I don't know, this one, uh, to me, doesn't seem too difficult. Um, so I'm trying to see, like, if I missed a point. You know, like a weird defense. Mm -hmm. It seems like we can win material pretty easily. Because it's equal material now. Right? It's equal material now. No, no, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Okay. Yes, yes, okay, I figured it out. There is a trick. There is a little trick there. Yeah. Yeah, but I got there. I got there. Now I understand the position fully. Okay. Right. See, so you guys uh, need to take that a little bit deeper. My hair is purple, Ewok Surfer. This is exactly what I was wondering, but there is a little trick that white has, and you have to be able to beat it. So this, this is a deeper puzzle than even the other ones we've looked at today. But uh, what about, what do you think, Karen? What are some candidate moves? Um... I was, let me look just another second. Okay. And then I'll come with some ideas. You know, I'm not even sure that I'm right anymore. Check and double check. Check your list. Make a move. Yeah. Whatever Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. <laughs> this position, I don't know. That's it's so tough. Tense. Oh, I have an idea. Let me see if it's going to work. So, I don't know, though. I think it will work, but I'm not positive. So, what are you thinking about? People I in was, chat are figuring it out a little bit. I was looking at maybe um, Night Takes uh, E2 check. Yeah. And then if rook takes and queen takes c1 check. All right, now you're getting started. Then I was kind of trying to figure out what the next move was. He'll play rook e1, hitting your queen, because your bishop's also hanging. Okay. So then you'll have your queen and bishop hanging. That's the, that's just the trick. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So you're off to a good start, but how do you handle rook e1? That's not clear. Okay. Let's see. I actually thought I had it, but then I didn't. But I found a different idea that I'm pretty sure works. Okay. And the chat also seems like they're on to it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Frosty. Exactly right. Exactly that. Let's take a look. 92 x clam. Here. Mm-hmm. Now two things are hanging. Right. At first I wanted to go here. 
right? My point is that if you take with your bishop or queen, then I'll take here. But you actually can play queen takes, give up the rook, and then just move your king. And now I've got to deal with threats. Okay. So this isn't clear. Mm. The correct solution is to just take this. And if they take your queen, you go here, winning the queen. Oh, and you're yeah. up the exchange. I knew, there had, I knew the skewer had to be in there. I just couldn't yeah, figure out. Yeah, because the, the queen and king are lined up. Yeah, I just couldn't figure out how to do how that was part of it. I like that. That was good. Hey, Penston. How does he play rookie one? Why doesn't <laughs> check? It blocks the check. <laughs> That's how. Oh, unless you're talking to somebody else. Why not um, queen takes c3? Because after pawn takes, you can't play bishop d4 anymore. Is why. But that's, yeah, that's essentially the same idea, but you can't let the pawn go there, right? You take with the bishop to go back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not a small advantage. Uh, it's not a small advantage. This is game over. It's up in exchange and a pawn. So black would win 100% if it's two strong players. You know, now in, in, a, in a blitz game when they're both 1600, then, you know, anything could happen. <laughs> Black's a slight favorite. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, backhead hornosaur. <laughs> I can't yeah. always glance and tell who's winning. No, so. but yeah, a lot of times the, the <laughs> tactics end in mate or you're up a queen and such. So this is, you know, less material, but it's still decisive enough. Totally. Oh, the Rock Obama, you got a gift sub from an anon anonymous. I remember when there were a whole bunch of those. That's awesome. These have been pretty good puzzles so far. Let's keep it going, huh? I couldn't do it either, Office Alpha Male, but I had some of the ideas, and I still thought it was fun. I understood it at the end. I couldn't quite get it all. <laughs> this stream needs my stomach behind you. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Karen's stomach's really been stealing the show, I would say. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Yeah, Ben's five minutes of Ben's belly gets you know a hundred extra views. <laughs> but hey, yeah, you Mark's missed you missed it earlier, Ben. My stomach was rumbling really loudly. Hey, Mark, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, hey, Bonarici. Yeah, I think I could solve it. I agree. I think honestly, I could have solved that if I had more time, Bonarici. I agree. Not so much with some of the others. But um, anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, you know, there were a lot of little tricks to that position. Yeah. At first, I thought it was like too easy. And then I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? That's what I thought to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't believe how loud it was, Ben. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, we could totally play Guess That Opening if you want. Yeah, I can try that. Let's see. Guess That Opening. <laughs> it's not entirely clear to me, but I, I would be, um, you know, I've got a pretty good guess. Let me also put white to play. Mm -hmm. Give me one second here. I mean, I would say, this is just such a total guess, <laughs> uh, the dragon, the Sicilian dragon. I would say it's certainly a Sicilian. Cause, Probably um, not a dragon. I was thinking maybe the G-pawn. But wouldn't the bishop be here in a dragon? Not oh, that's there. true, that's true. How would Very it unlikely it would be on E7. This is more like a classical Sicilian, like how my dad mm -hmm. plays, mm -hmm. where it's bishop takes f6, g takes f6. Um, that that's a common structure, and he didn't play a six, so it's not a knight orf. All right, yeah. So I think it's a classical Sicilian. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What about the answer? I haven't solved that yet. Okay, I haven't even looked at that yet. Okay, white to play. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, that is what I was looking at first. V Z D, V Z D J, V Z D J. But I don't know. It's, 
didn't seem entirely decisive. You know, it wasn't one move decisive. Like rookie six, for example, from the previous. Or I guess that was two or three puzzles ago. Mm-hmm. It looks like he sacked a piece, huh? Like on F5. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true, Frosty. The the Tevis book? Is that a question directed at me? <laughs> this this is the ultimate chess puzzle book. Unless you were talking to somebody else. I mean, I don't really believe that answer, homomorphic. For one, I could play differently with black on move two, couldn't I? Oh, no, no, I couldn't, I couldn't. I thought I could block, but you're right, I can't do that. Okay, so bag check there. Let me, let me look at that again. Queen. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is good. That is a good variation. I can't find any holes in it. At all. I think that has to be correct, yeah. I mean, even still... You know, you could, yeah, you could do that, but that just loses every piece in the book. <laughs> He's just losing all his pieces then. So I mentioned reading mm. the Queen's Gambit. Uh, I get you. I was looking I at Knight Tax F5 first, maybe. But... Well, then he'll just take it off. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. That when the bishop moves, the queen's protecting the bishop on e7. Yeah, that is beneficial. <clears throat> what about just sacking on take, take the exchange then? I mean, that's like such a tempting move, right? It's pretty tempting. And then after king takes... I. Seemed like you could, you know, check in different ways, like rookie one. Oh, you got two checks. And then the queen, you know, h one four. Right. You could check with the knight, but as you're pointing out, it's such... gets took. Yeah. Okay, but uh, if we check queen h four, he'll block f six. Mm hmm. Although even that's complicated because queen h7, you probably want to play rook f7 there. But anyways, I like what homomorphic said. Takes, takes, rook e1 check. Because if you block with the bishop, I can just take on e6 because mm -hmm. the f pawn's pinned because your king's on e7. If I just take it with my knight or rook, they both look crushing. I mean, <clears> I would play knight takes. I would play knight takes. Yeah. Um. So after you sack the exchange and rook e1 check he has to go here we can cash in our next check only legal move is f6 and queen h6 wins with no defense to mate actually well i guess you can move your queen away and run away couldn't you mm -hmm. but then uh, then you lost a piece no but you started up a piece there must yeah. be a reason for the knight yeah. Well, we're going to check our answer know, this, in a minute. This is tough. Let me look at this just for a second. You sack the exchange, not a rook. Why does queen g7 not work, says C.L. Smith? 
Oh, we'll look at that. We'll look at that too. Yeah, if we just run our queen away. Here. For example. Like that. Because then we got things hanging, even. Okay, I guess we can do this. But uh, did white win? I mean, I guess, yeah, right? <laughs> it seems like white's winning here. Mm -hmm. But okay, this is, we're only up, we're up two pawns. And I mean, we're totally winning. Like, our knight is great. And he's got weaknesses everywhere. Unless he can do something right now, we should win. But I don't know. I feel like we could do better than that, don't you? Don't you feel like we could do better than that? <clears throat> he wants queen g7. Does he want it? Uh, CL Smith, does he want it now? Or does he want it here? He, didn't he wants it here, I guess. When it attacks the rook. The same idea, but without these inclusions. Right? Mm hmm Instead of queen h4, yeah. Right. Yeah, like what's how is that different than even what we just looked at, really? Unless do you have like a better move than queen takes rook? I just want to give up the rook because, you know, I'm up a rook, so I don't want to get mated. Mm. Might as well just give up a rook. Yeah, but anyways, even this should be winning. Like, sure... I uh, didn't take your pawn. That's the difference, but it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. Still winning. No, we should do better than that, don't you guys think? <clears throat> hard to say. It is yeah, hard I'm to happy say. to keep looking a little bit. Yeah, I want to look a little bit more, yeah, just yeah. in case. I'm maybe pissed. that maybe like that is the answer. Mm -hmm. You know, rook takes e7, rook e1 check, and then there's multiple ways to do sort of the same right. thing yeah, yeah. okay but we have other candidate moves don't we <laughs> i don't know yeah. maybe not like i don't like queen h4 for example i don't think that's good i don't really see another candidate move at all i'm, I'm just being honest mm-hmm you know, I don't, I don't really think this is going to get it done or that. And then other than this, what else do we got? It has it has to be a rookie seven. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, I would think so. You want to go here first? Well, this is allowing me to block potentially because you're only attacking e6 once. Hey, Grandmaster Cool. Hey, Wizzella Woo. Like this, for example. Now you could take and make my king run up. That's true. A bizarre position, <laughs> to say the least. But I don't know. It seems okay for black. Because how do you stop me from going there? Doesn't seem like you can. So yeah, you're letting me play bishop e6. Rook e1, I can run away. No, no, I can't run away there because you could still take e6. You could still take e6 if I go here. I only got out of the way of this, which doesn't matter. So here. No, then takes and rook e6 is crushing, of course. Yeah, so actually you could still do it like this, right? You could still do it. This, is, this seems like very difficult threats to meet. I can't meet them. I could just defend with my queen. And then give up the queen. Like this, for example. Maybe you have knight f5, but, you know, for example, I could play this position with black. Probably losing because I got a passed pawn, but, you know, it seems like not really the answer to a puzzle. That white getting that position. So I don't know, this all makes sense to me, but it still seems like it's only, like, positionally winning. <laughs> Maybe up a pawn or so, or a pawn or two. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Queen takes f5, black loses by heart attack. <laughs> well, let's see if it, if maybe we're off base, or maybe that's just right, you know? Mm -hmm. I could see it going either way. 592. All right, rook takes e7, x-clam. No, we're on the right track here. 
you know, rookie one check. Bishop <clears> e6, <throat> knight takes wins. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Check x clam. This is stronger than queen g7. So we were on the right track here, though, clearly. Mm -hmm. We were looking at the right stuff. Queen a5. Instead, I wanted queen c5, right? Uh, but he's yeah. saying queen a5 yeah. is, is better mm -hmm. for some reason. You're on that same diagonal with the rook, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right, because this threatens a2 and the rook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, b3 is is the threat. Very tr I didn't see that coming here. Stopping that. And then we'll take it. He says black's still in the game here. I don't really know if I believe that. It just seems like he's lost. But let's compare it to the other variation. Where he wants queen h4 check. Mm-hmm f6, queen h6, queen a5 still, knight b3, x clam. This move's crucial. White loses after this because of b3, as we figured out. So yeah, queen a5 was a tougher defense than my queen c5. This is, this is one thing that I could have improved because it was kind of easy to win the way that we were playing. Although still, I wasn't sure that that was enough to, to be considered a win. But here, there is a detail that you have to play knight b3 first. Yeah, yeah. To stop b3 in that variation. And then we right. can take the rook with check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that makes sense. And then we land on this similar position where white's just crushing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shijin Drake, how's it going? Yeah, that was a tough one. Mm -hmm. But well, we basically, we essentially got it. You mm -hmm. know, we didn't find Black's toughest defense, but we understood rookie seven and rookie one was the right idea. And even uh, Queen G7, he mentions too, which is kind of funny. He mentions Queen G7 just like CL Smith wanted. But uh, yeah, he didn't find this to be as convincing. Yeah, less favorable than as this. Queen H4. All right, this is the positions they landed on. This one we took the pawn. No, no, no. This is the one that I landed on because I played queen c5. I'm getting confused here, but I got it. It's this or this. This is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I'd rather take the pawn, yeah. All right. If you play queen g7, he didn't provoke f6, which is actually what C.L. Smith and I, well, C.L. Smith mentioned that oh, okay. in the chat when we were talking about it. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Yeah. Um... Even still, I don't think it's too too important. But... Mm -hmm. Seems like white should win in either case. What do you think? Did you want to keep it going with puzzles or, or maybe um, play some people? Let me see what time it is. We're um, already over 90 minutes. I think we could do another puzzle. All right. Let me, um, while you're setting it up, I'm going to real quick glance. I see that I have a bunch of unread whispers. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm so brag much. Come on. No, it's no, it's a brag. It's not a brag. <laughs> it's I'm so overwhelmed. Humble brags. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed by the the backlog of communications that I owe people. I feel bad about it. People just trying to help and do this and do that. I can't even get back with them. Terrible. I was trying to see who was streaming. I follow a lot of streams. Oh, yeah, not me. Not me. Not I. All right, well, there's quite a few chess streams going on. I'm more of a YouTube boy than a Twitch boy, i got to say. Yeah. I'm, I like YouTube more. Mm -hmm. With regards to, mean, do you like the live content there? Or Just that like if, the... I, if I'm trying to be entertained, I'm going to watch... YouTube. But is it usually live that you No, prefer? no, oh, so they're you usually don't, you recorded. Don't do a lot of, so you don't, yeah, videos, so, yeah. I mean, I certainly like, I mean, YouTube is, to me is more essential because mm -hmm. um, I get a lot of information about a lot of different right. things off YouTube. But yeah, for stream, definitely. But for streaming, I do prefer Twitch. But maybe this is what I'm used to. 
All right, so this is black to play. Black to play. <laughs> Used to be a YouTube boy, homomorphic. <laughs> What's a whisper? Like a private message. <laughs> yeah. And I was not bragging. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I just feel overwhelmed because I get them like all over the place, Facebook, Messenger. I was complaining about this yesterday, WhatsApp. But it, don't don't not reach out to me just because I'm complaining. It's just you may have to wait a little bit. Is all. All right, now let me look. Black to play. I think uh, I think I solved it. That was quick. You know, just seeing about any, you know, tricky defenses. Mm -hmm. You always got to be on the lookout for those. Because I actually sort of have two different options I was looking at. Yeah. Oh, I might have one. You got a candidate move? Oh, I don't know. That didn't work. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes. I think I'm I'm under starting to understand it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Murf Murfinski. That's exactly what I'd come up with as well. That concept. Just trying to find a defense, but it is tough. Yeah. All right, Panston, there's a, a move that's like your move. It has the same idea, but there's a defense to your suggestion. You have to find White's best defense. Then you can find the better version of your move that doesn't allow the defense. No, Frosty. Yeah, there's mate at the end there. Yeah, mine was... I mean, look, I have a, an idea, but I can't tell if it worked. It seems kind of cramped on. So. I mean, Jay Wolfen, that hangs all your pieces. So it's, you know, <laughs> not the best candidate, you know, idea. Oh, I forgot about that bishop. Classic bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Moving diagonal. <laughs> it's tough. Sneaking up on me. So did you have any uh, ideas? Yeah, but I want to look for another second. Okay. All right. uh, before I just start discussing it. What's nice about this position is, like, if, if you're in a tournament game, you would definitely be sitting here trying to find tactics that win. So it's very practical. Like, in a game, you would basically imagine that it's black to play and win mm -hmm. if you were just sitting here. Because there are so many little ideas going around the king. Yeah. They're, like, giving suggestions and end with etc. That is a Scottish mm. demon goat special. What's a Scottish demon goat special? Giving a move and then saying etc. Mm. Mainly etc. That's right, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus 96. Oh, uh, yes, B6. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, sorry, I spoiled it for you, Karen. JK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Yabba Dabba Doo. Good to see you, Yabba Dabba Doo. Well, there is a defense to that move, actually. Yeah, there is a, a defense.
the best suggestions are illegal moves. That's true. They're not the most likely to be right, but... You know, they're the best in its own way. I don't know. I can't figure out what to do. I mean, I see there's just a lot of options. What were some things you were calculating, for example? I was looking at moving the night is the first move. Yeah. And I couldn't decide whether to go night G1 or take on H2 or something else. Mm. And it, yeah, you got the right idea. You should move the knight. Mm -hmm. But well, here's what you want to do. You want to imagine the guy's rook is gone. Because mm -hmm. it probably will be when you move the knight. Right? He, he'll take or right. you'll take. Yeah. If this rook's gone, you want to move your knight somewhere to make a threat against his king. Oh, yeah. Well, you, okay, so then knighty, knighty one? Yeah, knighty one, oh. for example. Threatens yeah. queen g2 mate, assuming the rook is gone. That's right. Their other option is knight h4. So this is the question, is which move is better and mm. why? And the answer is mm. one of my dad's favorite emotes. Um, one, of his, yeah. one of his favorite emotes. Yeah, definitely. Um. <laughs> what does he always play? Oh, knight f5. Er, well, that's illegal. It can't yeah. do that. Um, Can't do king b1 either. <laughs> that's true. We'll see. Oh, bishop f1. Bishop f1, exactly. Hmm. Bishop f1 is the defense to g2 with the tempo. But oh, yeah. <clears throat> if you play knight e1, bishop f1, we can just take it because it's mate. Little x-ray there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the knight covers g2 still. Oh, cool. But if we played knight h4, this is a sufficient defense because the bishop is defended extra. Okay. Because the knight's not interfering oh, yeah. as well. Man, that was hard to see. I was on the right track, though. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, knight one, bishop f1. says her hair is looking good. Oh, thanks, Crumbopulous, Michael. He just loves killing. Yeah, which show is he from? <laughs> Rick and Morty. Okay. Yeah, you know... Uh, Old people, animals, he has, you know, he has no morals, just kill anyone. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we were right, or if it was all hullabaloo. It Probably seemed right. Were right. Yeah. It seemed right. It seemed right at the time. Mm -hmm. 91, zero, 01. <laughs> yeah, no explanation. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. Sorry you missed earlier. What is the book? Hey, Murfinski. It's the Ultimate Chess Puzzle Book mm -hmm. by John Ems. That's what it seemed like to me, Sapien Octopus. Any interference? Yeah, it's definitely... Well, it's a lot of things at once. It's yeah, an that's interference. True. It's a discovered attack. Yeah, discovered, yeah. And uh, well, also, there's this Back mating rank. pattern, yeah. too. So, uh, yeah, a lot of tactical themes here. Mm -hmm. That's what makes a good puzzle. That's yeah, what makes a good that puzzle one was book. good. I didn't quite <laughs> get it, but I got part of it. Um, you used to be Jay Copper, but I killed him. <laughs> 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 what happens if Queen takes the knight? That's a good question. We'll just play here, and we're threatening this. And if you try to defend this way, you get mated here as well. So you can't really defend this. As it were. Yeah. But if you're a computer, you can give everything up, right? Take here and then take there and such. Even this is still mate, though. So, Yeah, it's two mates. Too many mates. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's more than just winning the exchange, even. Because you started a piece down, you know. Black's a piece down here. So winning the exchange wouldn't be enough. But we, it's, the, the attack is overwhelming. Well, what should we do? Probably uh, maybe play some games. I huh? think so. That's what I think we can segue. Um, all, right. all right. So I said I would take VZDJ88. That's for sure. First. I will do that. And then I've already forgotten the rest of yes, the order. <laughs> so if anybody else thinks they're second. Oh, April Coco has a great 
picture of a little baby cat. Oh, little baby, just like the one yeah. out front. It's gonna be yes. Spencer's new baby. Yeah, once I steal it <laughs> from the wild. Hey, are you still there, VCDJ? Oh, there you are. I need to catch it in a pokeball. Um, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> he tried to do the Rosen thing, but he clearly didn't do it right. <laughs> it's D6 takes then 97. Come on. Maybe not. Maybe he's just is randomly playing like this. But I thought he was going for the Rosen thing, but it wasn't right. I thought so too. You know, have been... Uh... Seen some things. Mm -hmm. Karen is playing. Um, you could challenge Karen, but there is a, a queue of a few people. But who knows how long Karen will play. She's a player, after all. Back it on up. I love your compact structure. A Carol Khan player would really like to have your position. Oh, really? Yeah, totally. Or even an Alyekin's defense player. They would love to have white here, especially in pawn up. I think your challenge did work. Yeah, ba dabba do. <laughs> Oh, it's really out of focus. That's true. Um, well, I didn't notice. Can't really fix right. it right this second. Maybe you if can, I move my head around, you can try to, you should know. Be. But yeah, let's. We can try to do one of these. Come on. No, it is. It is uh, pretty tough. But we'll we'll get it fixed after uh, Karen crushes this mm -hmm. guy. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> or, or whatever happens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems like it almost works, but then it, it kind of doesn't. It's like it's trying. All right. Well, how long has it been like that? Uh, just for, you know, a minute or so. Not very long. Yeah. All right. Dang, you almost won in one move there. <laughs> <laughs> But he saw it. He saw it. That's... I hate when they see my one move threats. It seems so innocuous. Hey, it's Doric the Cat. Thanks for the 200 bits to buy window cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. Clean windows. Mm-hmm. Here comes knife f5, huh? Come on, you're pretty far behind on the clock. Well, I was going to try to fix the issue. No, just beat this guy. He's not making it easy for you, is he? Mm -mm. He's like, you're not the only one who can double up. That's what he said.
Is it, it's a chess G dream sequence. <laughs> yeah, it is like that. I mean, I just... <laughs> I can't do about it. There's nothing That's I a good way to put it, it, though. I, you know, I'm already behind on the clock. Can't you get up there? All right, I can try. Why don't you guys get up and like go and put your hand oh, like directly right. in front? But then I won't be able to see if it works. Well, I'll have to run back around. I mean, I can't tell. Oh, actually, I can do it like from here. Whoop. Did that work? I don't know. I mean, it's trying no, to play some chess work. here. I think it did work. All right. It looks like it did work. It's clear. Yes. Okay. It's clear. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you didn't take your queen. That was cool. I know. I noticed it, and I was like, okay. Well, <laughs> guess I'll move that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seemed like a, the right thing to do. Oh, it was okay as soon as I moved from my chair. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting information. I don't know. I mean, I can fix it, but not while I'm playing chess. I'm already working. We did fix it. So, I mean, now like 30, I know I'm saying in general. You know, it's... Um, now I'm just going to lose on time. That's true. But that was always a possibility. True. Oh, thanks, Feliosof. Feliosof. They like our uh, endgame videos. We try our best. We definitely do. So I'm glad you could appreciate them. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> good game. Yeah, good game, VCD. J88. <laughs> that was a good game. Yeah. But it was marred by time pressure. Yeah. Right, the, so the, the gambit is this and then this. That's that's the the Rosen trap, you know. That's what it is, and then here there. So instead, you don't take that. That wouldn't take that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen you avoid it actually. Mm -hmm. I've taken it before. And instead, you played <laughs> here, and then uh, yeah. Now it seems like White's just doing well. Although you could try to win your pawn back, you you sacrificed it permanently this way. Oh, okay. You haven't played in six months. I feel like that pawn was going to be hard to protect. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. He should have tried to attack it. With oh, yeah. Game, but yeah, yeah. I was, played D5 I was so happy he did. Up. I was like, yay, yeah, I can yeah, get exactly. rid of this dumb pawn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was happy. Yeah. So, like a normal way to handle this position, I would say, is to just trade it in castle. You're a pawn up, so you should just be winning in the long term. I mean, you got a lot of work to do because, you know, just a pawn up. Okay. But you, like, never castled. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, I think you liked this. I did. I kept thinking I was going to get something going. But he didn't have too many pieces over yeah. there, really. So that... I mean, yeah, you could have, you know, you could use it a little bit like you did. Mm -hmm. But at some point, you should still castle. I mean, you could castle queenside and play like this mm -hmm, true, true. if you wanted. I thought about castling queenside, but uh, that, with that diagonal open, it seems a little scary. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little trap, Panston. You play this and knight e7. So you pre-move knight e7, right? When you go here, you pre-move knight e7 so that they they think that you you accidentally hung it. Because if you think for a second, then play it, they'll know that you know, they'll know that it's a trick. <laughs> like you know, but if you pre-move, you could make a pre-move mistake. That that's the trick. Mm -hmm. And then after it takes bishop f2, wins the queen. 
So that's that's all what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now again, I don't know if VZDJ knows that trap but messed it up or if he was just playing randomly like this. Anything's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, like, yeah, you should, like, be castling some way or another. Like, I don't even like bishop d3 because it's a little bit loose there, you know? Oh, okay, yeah. But, um, I mean, this was okay. But, yeah, now you're, you know, your bishop and your knight are a little loose, so he's putting a little pressure on you. But, like, for example, at some point, yeah, you played rook d1. Like Scottish Demon Goat said, you might as well just castle queenside. Yeah, I should have. Connect your rooks, and then your knight can move. But after rook d1, it's pinned. Mm -hmm. You know, after rook d1, it's pinned. Yeah. I mean, here you got to... Well, you could play e4. In fact, you probably should have played e4 instead of g4. But anyways, uh, maybe you don't fear this because you have this. But I don't know. Are you Is that really working? Because the queen will cover it. I mean, either way, you could just ditch the pawn. You could just move your queen and ditch the pawn and let him take. Instead... You can even try some e4 fork, but it probably won't work because you pin you on the e-file. Mm. Yeah, pretty complicated position still. But yeah, I think that, uh, anyways, <laughs> you should have played e4 here. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Really good stuff there. <laughs> hey, Thelonious. <laughs> Thelonious. Yeah. How's it going, Thelonious? <laughs> <laughs> Thelonious and I are going to have a match. <laughs> yeah. Going to show them who the boss is, finally. <laughs> Just getting ready. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I don't believe you're going to win any games. But yeah, e4 would have been a little uh, safer because it comes with a tempo. So, like, he wants to go here and, and fork you. Um, so if you go here, it comes with a tempo on the rook. And it defends the bishop. So after he moves the rook, you can move your queen and then you're out of the pin. Or, you know, move it back here or something if you want to be more creative, I guess. Yeah, Thelonious is my brother. <laughs> You know. All right, here you hung the queen, and then he didn't take it. But you, you noticed that after the fact. Yeah, I was like, oh, God. And now you can take because your bishop's defending there. I mean, even here I might castle. Mm -hmm. but, okay, yeah, I like castling. Avoid a hassle. You picked up the pawn. But yeah, already here at the time loss was a foregone conclusion. Right, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably you're just winning here. Like, I think you're, I, you're just I winning the whole time. time, yeah. I mean, I know that was bad. <laughs> I, was, I was really low. Yeah, this this should uh, this should be one, because if he goes here, this is protected, conveniently. Yeah. And this, is, this ain't nothing. He can't even go here, because this is hanging. So yeah, you still had him, but of course the time was was the deciding factor. Yeah, Good makes game. fools of us all. Mm -hmm. You still there, Thelonious? Or did you come dump and run? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the kids are calling it? <laughs> <just> made it up. <laughs> All right, let's see what we should do here. Okay, so we're right at two hours. Um, rematch. Yeah, I enjoyed our game. You're just a bit stronger than me. Well, maybe you want to play. Let's do a couple more. I mean, you don't have to run off, right? No. Yeah, no. we're just going right, to we'll keep going. All right, I'll play a couple more people before we end. <laughs> um, yeah, Fro old Frosty. He was here hanging out with us for the puzzles he was answering, chiming in. Mm -hmm. So now he's all warmed up. Mm -hmm. All warmed up.
Sorry, Yabba Dabba Do. No, oh, I think you might be next, actually. More like Yabba Dabba Don't. Do, do you know just have this? I know something. I can't what I'm supposed to do. I have to do. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I can't wait to go to karaoke. I'm already. Are you going tonight? Oh, yeah. I'm already recovered. Definitely. I won't go. Aw. Yeah, I gotta go. I've got some songs I wanna sing. You mess with the fro, you gots to go. Mm hmm. Let's see. What is this? Probably not that, but I'm doing it. Get it going. Can't be slow. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta go. Yeah, what's with people playing B3? Who taught you guys how to play chess? B3? Yeah. Yeah, he played B3 on move 8. The chat is stunned silent. <clears throat> Not scared about the discover check there. Totally. Like, that was scary. Uh, it's like Scary Terry, you might say. Or you might not. Mm. The poor man's B6. <laughs> 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 uh, Your queen's nice and safe now. She's got all her <laughs> friends around her, you know? Her subjects. Yeah. She's like, sacrifice your lives for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Classic queens, am I right? <laughs> yes, <it> was crying. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Yaz. He'll get over it. I'm crying about this time usage. Got for 45 seconds on the most obvious move. Like, come on. What's going on here? Maybe he had to go, like, you know, answer the door or something. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder that when I'm playing and they're taking an abnormally long time. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe they just, like, you know, got their pizza or something. Oh, thanks, Ivysaur. What did Ivysaur say? They complimented my hair. Oh. Mm -hmm. I always appreciate a good hair compliment. Yeah, me too. If only uh, Laszlo was here for this, he could see that this is like a structure you often get in a time and off when when black plays uh, d5 and white trades on c6. And even sometimes the queen is on b8 after knight b5. Saw that one coming a mile away. Ah, that is pretty obvious. Darn. All right. Let's see if I go back. Yeah, my burn mark is still there a little bit. Here, I can't even. But it's healing. <clears throat> I just need to keep regrowing skin cells. So I'll try really hard to grow some skin cells. I'm sure if I focus hard enough, I can do it. I 
I don't understand the joke homomorphic. I kept reading it thinking I'd eventually get it, but... I'm missing all the jokes. Well, I missed one too, so... F E the iron move, you know. It's like the iron chef, but Hey, it's all blurry again. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe if I just leave will I it think, change? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like I just time? think that the the light if the lighting's not good we have to look into why it keeps getting blurry. But yeah. I don't Let me know. See. Whatever you did last time should fix it. I think that did work. Yeah, I just left the screen. Maybe I'll just duck down, mm -hmm. hide. Mm -hmm. I think that's typical with cameras. If there's more than one face, it has a hard time knowing. Yeah. Uh, what to do. This guy's got a lot of threats, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's still blurry. Okay, let me try it again. Like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you go... Well, I don't really know what it was before. That... It's tough. You have to align your faces to be exactly the same distance from the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I think you're right about that actually. But it is pretty funny. Dang, that was a pretty tough move. Yeah. Tough but fair. Mm. Yeah, there you go. It's a move. Fancy. All Fancy right. <laughs> GG Frosty. Yeah, it's all blurry again. Let me, can I sit, hold it for a minute? Okay. Let me just try to do it this way while, while we're both sitting here. I think we have a better chance of fixing it. I hope the whole video isn't like that. Big Spencer. <laughs> I can't wait for Big Spencer. <laughs> 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 All right. I think we're good. All right, you can take it back. All right. 
So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the game. It's a pretty interesting one. I thought that uh, he maybe the sacrifice wasn't winning, but maybe it was. So, yeah, here you should take on e4. And that's actually not Judith. That's um, Susan, Susan Polgar. Probably my least favorite Polgar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. No probably about it, really. I mean, Judith's you know? definitely my favorite. By um, Susan's my least favorite. I'm going to stand by that. Stand by that. Yeah, anyways, so you got to take it so their bishop moves. Then knight f6 gains a tempo on their bishop. Uh, they okay. have to go here, so you gain the tempo. After here, you're in a bad version of an advanced French. Yeah, this happened before yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Now here, b3 is terrible, awful, come on. I knew it was, but I couldn't figure out how to Well, maybe it's okay. Capitalize on it. shouldn't play it. <laughs> There's no reason to play that. You could just defend it with your queen, right? We looked at this last time, too. I forgot what the conclusion was. Anyways, don't play b3. Find anything else to do, like defending with your queen, hanging the pawn. <laughs> might even be better. I would never play b3. Okay. C takes. You thought the engine takes. says b3 is fine? Nah. Not right. It's wrong. Play better than that. Anyways, after here, Mark was saying that you maybe could do this because... Knight takes, the queen can slide over. And so the discovered attack wouldn't... He wouldn't oh, yeah, yeah. Back. I was worried about that. Yeah, I didn't think about that. And if that. here, you could just go back. Okay. Or knife f5, for example. You could throw in some check, I guess. Knight takes check. Yeah, I wasn't sure about it. I really yeah. wanted that e-pawn, too. But I was just not sure what to do. All right, that was good. I lost my chance. Yeah. Also, like, for example, even here you could have taken it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a slightly riskier now, I guess, but... Yeah, I Anyways, should have taken yeah. it. I don't know why I didn't take it then. Yeah, I don't know. You, a lot of times you like to, uh, like, remove the tension. What's that about? You know, how does that help you? How's it going, fluorescent potato? Like, a, a plan for black could be, like, a5, a4, bishop a6, you know? That could be a good idea. You have to play queen b6 first, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I would get this guy out. You can also try to play f6. I thought about f6. I wasn't sure. All right, so, <clears throat> like we were saying, I don't know if this was sound or not, but, uh... Mm -hmm. I don't hate free pawns. I like that name, Special K. This... A friend of mine in high school called me Special K. That was my nickname. So, check, check. If you wanted to win, you could try. You could try to win. Etc. Although actually maybe this is annoying because your bishop's overloaded. But anyways, he tried to win too. With this move, that's a good move. I like that move. That shows the attacking spirit by just continuing the attack. There. All right, but this was probably a blunder, right? <clears throat> I think it must be this. Although I'm still afraid of this. Well, what happens if, if, um, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That's what I was worried about mainly. Yeah. Because I don't see a way to get out of that. Okay, Jake. All right. Yeah, that's true. So I was yeah. trying to leave a little bit of room to run out. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously you have two moves, you know, so that that's all. You have to analyze the only two moves. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. There's no other move. But this one, unfortunately, also is losing. Yeah. So I guess he was just winning the whole time. Because this was the best defense. But then he took here. <clears throat> also, maybe he didn't even have to play queen h4. Like, he could have taken this first. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't know what to Check do. It's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess queen h4 is better. Yeah. 
And then he showed off a little bit with this tactic. Good mm-hmm. game. Yeah, GG though. Was Queen G5 good instead of, or Queen G4 instead of F4? Maybe that's what he spent all his time thinking about here. I always love my games with Frosty. Queen G4, I don't even understand the move. Hmm. You want this or something? I don't know. That you really hung this for attacking the queen? So, no, no. I guess no. Unless you see some tricks I don't see. That mm-hmm. Seems kind of silly to walk into knight e5. Well, I'm thinking we should end. All right. Only because, um, well, what time is it? Let's see, it's seven. Well, and I wonder if at this point we should just try to make make it. When do you think Ben will get here? Oh, I, I can eight? text him. Yeah, if it's going to be ex- exactly eight, then maybe we won't we won't wait. He does give me the smackdown. <laughs> All right, well, we're, we're discussing. All right, I'll play one more as a minimum. <laughs> yeah, because Yabba Dabba do really wanted that game. Well, we're about to end, okay. But i got to go for the Yabba. You're there, Yabba. Yeah, he was, look, he's begging for the game. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see what he has to say. At the car wash? Oh, he said he'll be here 7.45 to 7.50. Oh, that's fine then. We'll just, if it works out, great. If not, then... Not great. Not, you know. <laughs> no that problem. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to uh, make some chili tonight in my instant pot. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got your... In, your yeah. Did you get the right one? Instant pot? I... That doesn't even exist, Karen. I it doesn't? Look, really? I, I looked it up on Google and Amazon. Oh, maybe you've had the wrong name the whole time. Yeah, in fact, yeah, there's no like brand or or like style of Instant Pot called Instapot. Oh. Well, I guess I've had the, in my mind the wrong name. But then it sounds like you got but the wrong I, name. But I think that I got the same one as you because mm-hmm. like the A is red. It's like a red, like on the symbol, it kind of looks like Instapot. But it's in stent pot. But the N and T are like not red, like the A. That's why I thought that you thought that. If you see mm. what I'm saying, I, I'm just just a stab in the dark. <laughs> but that's just what I thought. I was like, this must be the same one because it kind of looks like Instapot if you just glance at it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I googled it. Can't confirm what Spencer is saying. Yes, I'm not crazy. Mm. Oh, no, I believed you. I just... Oh, I could be crazy. My did, dad's texting me about... Uh, didn't realize I was Mike so Tyson confused. mystery. Well, let me just... Um... I do like Mike Tyson mystery, though. I have to give it to him. It's a great show. But I told you guys about baskets, so it's like... That's like a fair trade. I know, I shouldn't have done that. Let me go back over here. <laughs> Yeah, Baskets is really good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big Zach Galifianakis fan. And now I love Louis Anderson after that, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know how funny he was. Oh, yeah, he's perfect. <laughs> he's yeah, perfect yeah. as the mom. All right, I feel like there, I feel like there should be, uh, an Instapot then, if it doesn't exist, you know. Like why? Why isn't that a a brand of Instant Pots? Now, if if that happens, I can like sue them because I have this on you know, a live stream. But this is my idea. But it actually was Karen's idea, <laughs> <laughs> as it were. Yeah, I didn't realize that I had it wrong for all these years. Years of incorrect nomenclature. I didn't know you even had it for years. I've had it for years. I just wow. haven't used it. Because <laughs> I don't like to cook. Yeah, it but, was funny that um, you were talking about it right after I watched this American Dad where they were talking about 
the instant his instant pot he like keeps talking about his instant pot the whole episode and i was like wow karen just told me about this crazy yeah the um pe- people are crazy about their instant pots now that i've got yeah. the name right <laughs> yeah yeah just yeah crazy about them Now, the Sikh Scottish Demon Goat, that actually uh, wouldn't have worked out, I don't think. Actually, maybe. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I think I think it would have worked out. Actually, it's <clears throat> tough. Calculating is tough. Base six, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now Black's going to win for sure. Mm-hmm. But I don't know that time situation. Oh, yeah. It's pretty tough. I'm glad you mentioned that again. See if I can. Well, it's only about half a minute, so some quick moves will. Mm-hmm. Get it going. Yeah. Some quick moves will get it going. Now Karen's the favorite after B6. The fan favorite, maybe. Always sack the exchange. Good stuff. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah, except for I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. Go, Karen, so sapient octopus. Yeah, I mean, you have a better pawn structure. So that's something. Come on, you were doing so fast. You were going so fast for a minute. Okay. Get a little lift. Do a little dance, make a little luft. Still some chances, huh? Still some chances. Being down the exchange like it's hardly noticeable in a blitz game. Oh, Bishop takes clamoring for a twelve hour stream. Um. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> Unlikely, I'll put it that way. Yeah. So you weaseled a concession out of him, but he got he got rid of the initiative, didn't he? And here comes the counterplay. Always play that, right? <laughs> Always play that. There's still some work to be done here. I'm trying to trick you, I guess. Our oh, little cute April Coco's picture is up again. <laughs> yeah, that does remind me of my little Esper. She's uh, She has big bug eyes. Just like that. She's such a baby. 
Oh, my dad said he's driving here now. Mm. Well, we'll see you soon. Maybe we can uh, we can raid you, potentially. This guy's got a lot of tricks, huh? He loves tricks. But his technique wasn't perfect. I guess that's what happens when you're a tricky player. You don't have the best technique all the time. Tricks are for kids, so that's true. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> April Coco. Good game. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like uh, you're pretty... You're putting up a good fight here. Mm. I would say it would be very difficult to win in practice, but... But time got the best to you. I mean, probably uh, it's not even a win right now because of the pawn hang, but... Okay, even like a couple moves ago, for example... Like around here. It's already very difficult to win. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, let's take a look. Did I miss a trick? They're saying I missed a fork. Oh, I mean, okay, but the, obviously you're going to lose on time, you know, at mm -hmm. the end. But maybe. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I'll find it. Night day is surprising you didn't do that. Is that bad? Well, yeah, but I mean, this is just a normal exchange French. Yeah, I was just get, get bored doing all the same thing. I didn't think that that was bad, but if it's bad, I won't do that. Well, it's, the problem is it blocks before. the bishop. Oh, okay, so that is yeah. kind of the downside. Um, yeah. Then he took, which I wouldn't do, because then you get to take with the <clears> pawn again. <throat> he took with the queen, keeping this asymmetrical structure. But yeah, I mean, for example, your queen got rocked around Run around, here. yeah, yeah. So this definitely didn't work out for wow, you. Wow, you hung a, ro a rook? Hmm? I believe it. <laughs> I mean, this move doesn't make any sense at all. You just go here. Well, the reason I well, went... This is good, too. The honestly. reason I went there trade is the stupid bishop. because it was blocked yeah. in. I trade the stupid so bishop. So I thought, well, and yeah, I knew that right. was a mistake, yeah. No, yeah, you're right. This okay. is this is also, this was probably better, yeah. This was probably better. No, bishop e5 made no sense at all. Come on. Come on, yeah, but yeah, but do. Yeah, but Deba, don't do that. <laughs> Come on. I already yeah, because after I bought it, I thought, well, I'll just... And I was so and happy. you're just fine. I was just so happy yeah. when he did that. I'm like, all right, well, then maybe yeah. I can just try this. He guy. took away your weakest piece, like, in general, you know? Mm -hmm. And so now your position is just nice. All right, so Scottish Demon Goat wanted this. I was a little concerned about this, but I noticed your bishop's still defending anyway, so you can just move your queen away. Like this. Yeah, you can't go here, I'll take it. You take this, I'll take with the bishop. So yeah, this did win a pawn once he <clears> unleashed <throat> the pin here by moving his bishop. Hung the pawn. Mm -hmm. So there. Uh, that, this was I just, good. Okay, I was just didn't know That's what to do. Because right. I was looking this at the open... This is a good open... move anyway, because you want to challenge his center, you know? Oh, okay. He's got a lot right. of space. Mm -hmm. So just attack it. Yeah, this is a good move. No, I just thought the pawn structure would be better for I would the take open that way, though. But yeah. I was worried about the open C file. I guess, yeah. Seems like it immediately yeah, get attacked by one of those rooks. Yeah, I but, guess uh, that's true. Mm -hmm. But I mean, knight d5 is going to be pretty solid to defend it. That's true, yeah. And, or rook d7 and double up. But, anyways, it's not a, that's not a bad move, really. This was a mistake, yeah, because he missed this. Yeah. As soon as I went, I saw it. I'm like, oh, he's going to see that. <laughs> right. Probably yeah. one step further would have done you well. Yeah. Even though he could go here, you could play bishop d6. If he goes pawn hunting, you have your queen, rook, knight, and bishop all ready to attack him. I think that that's just losing to, like, bishop h2, knight g4, queen h5. Okay. Also, this is hanging. Yeah. I mean, just for example... Like, I, this has got to be suicide, but I just do this. I mean, even here looks good, right? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even calculate this. Obviously, I wouldn't. Now we're about to end the stream, and Spencer really doesn't play. You know, you can play him yeah. on his account, though. Yeah, I usually don't. I've only um, played maybe two games ever on Karen's stream because she was like, she had to leave for a minute. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> I feel like a one minute game. Yeah, you guys should convince Spencer, you know, maybe he should stream on his channel because obviously he's a great teacher. You can be like, <laughs> <laughs> It's potentially true. <laughs> and so, you know, maybe he'll do that. <laughs> so you're all you're already getting counterplay here. Yeah, we're gonna wait on okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot. We are gonna wait yeah, on Ben. Totally. But we're gonna end soon though. Still gonna be soon. So he gave away the I mean he ruined his position to avoid I mean probably even ninety five's not the best. Um like what's wrong with, you know, infiltration? You you don't have a threat, right? You don't have a direct threat. So I would just start getting at you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then also, by the way, if here, then this move might later be even stronger. But anyways, he played here. Yeah, now you've got threats because stuff's hanging. 95 uh, hung his deep on. This yeah, definitely Spencer should stream. But, you know, wow. he's a busy boy. Yeah. So now things get a little tough. I mean, yeah. he could have, uh, he could have, I saw he could have won material somehow. Maybe it was Rook C7. I mean, you could play 95 Rook A7. Yeah, but... fluorescent potato like that. Maybe. Yeah. Spencer should stream Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what now he was saying. Talking. He wanted to stream. Now you're talking. Definitely. Also, even here, I thought he had something, but maybe still work C7, for example. But he went here, threatening 97, check winning your bishop. So you defended it this way. I actually thought you would go here. Well, your move might be safer. Because mm -hmm. then check, you can move your king, and, and it's defended by the knight. And then you could use your rook to take the pawn. Or he could take your pawn, you could take this pawn. But anyways, a rook d7 seemed fine. I don't know, I don't really see anything. I mean, that's not right. I didn't know which way to do, because if I took the other way... No, no, was... no, I'm saying his move was right. Oh, his move. Yeah, you did it right, of Yeah, because you, you get this the rook. This is row. crushing. Yeah, yeah. It just wins your piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. He was just hoping you'd do that. Oh. Maybe it was GM Feingold. Mm -hmm. No, but it's too early for Why that. Why is my hair sticking out so much? <laughs> oh, it, oh, is, it him. is him. Hey. Oh, yeah, fork here. This is what they're talking about. How's it going? Hey, well, we were trying to get the lighting better, no, but... I can't get in. Yeah. You can move it. The stream. Good. Good. Yeah, looks good. Oh, the yard. Oh, that's the excitement of the yeah, day. It good. Less, yeah. less mud, and the dogs liked it. Yeah. yeah, we got mulch put in the backyard today. It's been muddy back there. We had the playset removed that the kids hadn't played on in years. <laughs> it's like a new yard. The dogs were excited. Yeah. Anyway. So this was the move they were talking about. Ugh. But it didn't matter at this point. You had less than 20 seconds. Yeah. And he had like a minute. Mm -hmm. So you're just making random moves. Yeah. All right. Well. Good game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, obviously, yabba dabba do. Your technique could use a little work. <clears throat> you don't have to play so tricky when you're winning. Just win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just win gradually like a normal person. Yeah. Well, you seem good to me because you're better than me. Oh, no. He's <laughs> obviously, he's, he calculates a lot of tactics and, and is uh, am, an ambitious player. But mm -hmm. when you're winning, you just play normal and win. You know? Awesome. Well, we're going to hang out for a minute. We're going to raid Ben in a second. He's pretty quick with setting up. In fact, yeah. I'm going to pre... Type it in. Pre-type it in. Just don't hit enter by reflex, you know. I know. I think you can cancel it, though. First. That's true. But thanks to everybody who played Karen and we analyzed their games. Yeah, that was fun. 
There are a lot of interesting games today. Mm-hmm. You were definitely playing aggressively. Yeah, okay. That's what I like to see. That's what I'm trying to... Got your white square mission tell, out. Tell you guys I'm changing my ways. Yeah. It takes a while. Now I just need to do more tactics. Get better That's with true. tactics. And then... Yeah, some pose rush. Get that pose <laughs> rush going. Hey, Jesus, 96. Well, thanks for sticking around so so long, McJurgle. McJurgle was here the whole stream. Yeah. And he'll probably watch uh, my dad's stream. I'm yeah. Guessing. Just a guess. I don't want to be presumptuous, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to do something about White's control of the open file. I'm sorry I didn't get to play the other people that were in the queue, like Octoplatypus and Mr. Rufus Doofus. But maybe next time. Yeah, I enjoyed our game, VC. DJ88. <laughs> I like to play people that are um, better than me. Because the games are always interesting. That's the best way to learn. Yeah, and it's always different positions than what I get with people that are my writing. <laughs> we play the same moves. <laughs> Did we play? Yeah, you guys played a three-minute game. Well, he, yeah. He won, you trapped a screen and, you, and he won on time. Yeah, you beat me, and I took with that dumb bishop and should have taken with the rook. And you were high, you said, from the <laughs> coding. <laughs> So don't do any more coding until that wears off. Now, come on. All right, that's just a waste of coding. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah your Botez, Botez Gambit, Gambit Immortal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so has he started yet? Oh, no, he's in the, <laughs> he's in the room. Oh, I thought he was. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I the Grandmaster has begun the stream, so we must end. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow. Creeps. <laughs> it is petty pace. pace from day to day <laughs> to the last syllable of recorded time. <laughs>